time for Focus Next, and today we bring you a report from right here in France. Now, according to a study released in 2013 from the United States, the amount of land favorable to vineyards in Europe could be reduced by 68% in 2050. Solutions do exist, which mean French vineyards need to adapt or disappear. This castle in the Fronsac region near Bordeaux is a testament to the impact that global warming has had on vineyards and wine. In the cellar, 15 meters underground, the temperature is cool, and all the different bottles of wine mark the passage of time. Bottles from 1980, 12.5% alcohol content. Xavier Buffour runs this domain and made the following observation. With three different vintages from the same domain, the more recent ones have a higher alcohol content. 12.5% in 1980, 13.5% 25 years later, and reaching the high point of 15% in 2010. Our vineyard needs to adapt, and so does our way of working, both in the vines and in the store. High alcohol content in wine makes it impossible to sell. Global warming has increased the amount of sugar in grapes. And more sugar means more alcohol in the wine. So to quell the effects of warming temperatures, Xavier Buffo is adapting. On his land, Merlot represents 80% of red wine. He's now planting another, less sugary grape variety called Cabernet Franc. Little by little, year by year, we're modifying the composition of the land and of the wines. This allows us to control the amount of alcohol produced in our wines. Cabernet Franc is good for that. The vintage cutting method can also have an impact on the sugar content. I cut a few leaves off around the grapes. It's important the grapes aren't too exposed to the sun, so I leave some leaves to serve as a shield. 600 kilometers to the east in chateauneuf du pape in 33 degree heat, this nursery gardener specialized in vineyards has a different strategy. He digs a hole to show how long the roots of the vines are. They grow over 10 meters, meaning the plant has easier access to water. We want the vines to go deep so they can find some coolness which is necessary. If this mode of planting is not used in the vineyards that are meant to resist global warming, then we're dead. We're done for. According to some climatologists in the U.S., global warming could completely change the vineyard map. The United Kingdom, Denmark, southern Sweden, Belgium and Quebec are already benefiting from warmer climates by producing wine. The map will have to change because we'll be able to produce wines of good quality in new countries or regions, including in France. Maybe we'll see some vineyards in Brittany or Normandy, but I don't think it's the end of the traditional French vineyards. If nothing is done and temperatures rise by 2 or 3 degrees, 89% of current wine-producing regions in Europe would be in danger. Within 30 years, wine would be produced further north.